When you've been working on your WordPress site, you may have noticed that when you go to the front end to view your site, you've got this bar across the top. This is the WordPress admin bar, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. The first thing I should point out is that if you don't like this bar, you can always turn it off in the dashboard. If you go to Users and then your Profile, you just need to scroll down a little bit to where it says Toolbar. At the moment you can see it's checked. If you uncheck it, scroll to the bottom and Update Profile, then when you go and visit your site, you'll see that the admin bar has been removed. Now the admin bar is really, really useful. So for me, I'm going to leave it enabled. So I'm going to re-enable it and update my profile. And we should have it back again on the site, and we do. So let's have a look at the WordPress admin bar in a little bit more detail. The WordPress admin bar gives you access to some commonly used features of your WordPress dashboard. So you can moderate comments, you can add new posts and pages and so on. Because of that, some of my students have asked me, well, if that bar is at the top of my site, what's to stop a visitor coming along and going in and messing around with my site? Well, you can relax because this bar is called the admin bar for a reason. It is only shown when you are logged in as an admin user. If I was to log out of my site, and let's just go to the home page, you'll see that the admin bar isn't there. The admin bar is only there because I'm logged in as an admin user. The admin bar itself is made up of icons and text. At least it is on a desktop computer or a laptop computer. If you're on a mobile device, the screen is smaller. And on smaller screens, you'll notice that the admin bar is reduced to just the icons to save you a little bit of space on your device. The admin bar is made up of six main icons on the left hand side. One of them is actually missing from my admin bar here, and I've actually got a couple of extras that have been added by plugins. So there are six standard icons that come with WordPress, but plugins you install could configure additional items. So for example, these ones are to do with caching and SEO settings. They are plugins on this site that have added this information and these links to my admin bar. Let me go to a different website where you can see all six of the standard icons. This one here, this rotating circle, is found on this site, but it wasn't found on this one. The reason is that that icon has a specific purpose, which we'll look at in a moment, and you'll understand then why it's on here, but it's not on the other one. The very first icon is the WordPress logo, and this gives you access to WordPress.org resources. So you have an About WordPress link. You have a link to the WordPress.org website, to the documentation, to support, and also if you want to give feedback. The next icon is this little speed dial. And this gives you quick access to your dashboard, to the themes area, to the widgets area, and to the menus area. Clicking on any of these links will just take you to that area of the dashboard. So if I click on Themes, I'm taken to the Appearance Themes section of my dashboard. See there, this is where we are, Appearance Themes, and there's the themes on the right-hand side. Let's just go back to the site for a moment. The next icon is the little paintbrush. This is to edit or to customise your site. So if I was to click on that, it will take me to the Appearance Customise area of the dashboard. As you can see, we're now in the Customise area of the dashboard. The next icon is this circular arrow. And the reason it's on this website is that because you can see that number five there, that means there are five updates that I need to update on this site. So if I click on that, I'll be taken to the WordPress update section. And in fact, you can see there's actually six updates because there's also a theme that needs to be updated. So while I'm in there, I'm going to just quickly update those plugins. And with those done, I can go back to the WordPress update page and update the theme. And with all the updates done, let's go back to visit the site. 
So you can see that now we've done those updates, the little circular arrow has disappeared. That's why it wasn't found on this website because there were no updates that needed to be looked at. The next icon here is a little speech bubble and you can see that the speech bubble has a zero after it. That is the comment moderation bubble and on this site as well you can see it zero next to it. That means there are zero comments but if you click on that it will take you to the comment moderation area of your site. And then the sixth button is the little plus button and this is the, the one that you can click if you want to add a new post to your site, if you want to add a new page, if you want to add new media to your site. There are some other items in here, some of them have been added by plugins. The other one that is added by WordPress by standard is this user one if you want to add a user. You can see that over on this website the plus has the post, media, page and user. And again these are just links to areas of your dashboard. If you click on new post you're taken into the post section under the add new and you're ready to add your new post to the website. Over on the right hand side of the admin bar you have a menu that gives you access to your profile so you can click on edit profile. You can also click on your name and that would also take you to the edit profile screen as you can see there. We've got a logout button and that is something you should probably do every time you finish working on your site just to make sure that all of the connections to your database are closed nicely. And then we have a search button to search your site. We've already seen how some of these items in the admin bar can be added by plugins but developers can also add items to this admin bar. So if you don't know where an item is coming from chances are it will be a plugin but if not it could be a developer who's worked on the site who's modified it. I'm going to show you very quickly how that's possible. The first way you can modify your admin bar is by adding a new plugin called Adminimize. If you search for it and install it you can see that I've already got it on my site it's active. Under the settings menu here you'll have an Adminimize item and you can go in there and you can set options for your admin bar. You can also decide who it's displayed to so if you only want it displayed to admins you can do that. If you want it displayed to editors or subscribers you can set those as well. So that's one way that you can change the settings. The other way is by adding code to your functions PHP file and this is something that I wouldn't recommend unless you know what you're doing. But if you go to appearance theme editor you've got your functions PHP file which you can go in and edit and you can add code down here. Now I'm not a PHP programmer but what I've done is I've gone and found a website that has some code that you could have a play around with. If you want to search for it it's digging into WordPress and, and the article is called WordPress Admin Bar Tricks. This is actually an old article that was created for WordPress 3.1 but there are some bits of code here that you can use and have a play around with. Let's have a look at one as an example and we're going to use this one, move the admin bar to the bottom. So in this section of the web page we've got this code which if I copy and then go back and paste it into my functions PHP file at the end, let's just go down and we'll update the file and then we'll go over to my website and have a look. And you can see what's happened, the admin bar has disappeared at the top but it's down here at the bottom. And it's not an awful lot of use as it is because I can't see the drop down menus for things like new, they don't appear up there. But as I said this was code that was written, written for WordPress 3.1. But that's a way that a programmer or developer who may have been working on your site may have added information or deleted information from your WordPress admin bar. So that's the admin bar, it's really really useful when you're developing your site and you are on your site and you want to be able to add something or edit something or quickly go to a specific area of your dashboard then that is really really useful.